Attacks against rail networks are increasingly common. In Iran, public signage was modified by remote attackers. In San Francisco, the ticketing system was compromised. Digitization of rail systems is yielding unprecedented efficiency gains and customer service improvements. But digitization comes with increased connectivity. Rail networks that were long air-gapped are now exposed to IT networks, and through IT networks are exposed to the internet. This dramatically increases the number and kind of opportunities to attack rail systems. These trends expose rail operators and the public to unprecedented levels of cyber risk. Thus far, most of these cyber attacks have affected IT systems, but rail networks also contain what we call vital networks. Think signaling systems that enable trains to be clear of each other at all times, power systems that energize the train tracks, and systems that ultimately are connected to the moving train. The problem is that when vital networks are hosted at operations control centers, those networks are increasingly being connected to IT systems, being connected to enable monitoring by the IT systems, to enable reporting to the IT systems, to, be, to, to enable business efficiencies by cooperating with the IT systems. An operations control center manages and orchestrates systems on the rail network. These centers are complex environments hosting many functions, including train management systems, train safety systems, passenger information systems, and system operation centers. Some of the networks that are hosted at control centers have to interface with networks hosting SCADA systems, interlocking systems, train control management systems, positive train control systems, and energy systems. These vital systems are either safety critical or reliability critical. Cybersecurity for vital networks such as signaling systems is a precondition for safety. Safety has been the focus in rail for hundreds of years. But in the last 10 years, cybersecurity somehow avoided the safety rider. Today, we see interlocking systems. We see other legacy systems that are vulnerable to attacks. We see trains that are controlled by very complex computer networks. We see these trains moving down the tracks with virtually no cyber protections. I mean, sometimes we even see passenger Wi-Fi systems directly connected to braking systems or you know, connected to the central OCC networks without proper segmentation. Cybersecurity is essential to safety. There is no safety without security. We urgently need to focus on making cybersecurity of vital networks a priority. We need to do this in a way that is still going to enable the efficiency improvements of digitization, improvements that rely on access to live operations data. Cybersecurity is essential to safety. There's no safety without security. We have to fix this. Efficient railways need to report information pretty much constantly from vital networks out to business automation systems that run in IT networks, or sometimes all the way out to cloud systems on the internet. Some examples include Government agencies, such as transportation authorities, that need various kinds of reports. Central and cloud-based enterprise security monitoring systems need security reports and security alerts from vital networks. Internet-based cell phone apps and station signage need information about locomotive locations and schedules, as well as COVID-19 occupancy reports. And by the time this information reaches the consumer apps, it must not be more than a few seconds or minutes old. Track repair teams need accurate reports of which tracks are out of service. These teams need control over which tracks are flagged as out of service to ensure the safety of repair operations. And predictive maintenance applications need detailed information about equipment usage to optimize ordering spare parts, scheduling downtime, and scheduling maintenance crews optimally. We need to enable all of these data flows and efficiencies while protecting vital networks rigorously with the same degree of rigor and thoroughness that we apply to the design and maintenance of our safety systems. Firewalls protect IT networks, but all firewalls are software. This means firewalls are vulnerable to attacks that can range from the very simple to the very complex. Low-tech attacks steal the firewall passwords and reconfigure the devices. High-tech attacks, they find defects, they find vulnerabilities in the firewall software and exploit those vulnerabilities. And there's everything in between. 
And when a firewall is compromised, the vital networks that may reside behind the firewall are in serious trouble. This is unacceptable. Rather than firewalls, unidirectional security gateways are the right tool to use when connecting business networks to vital networks such as C9 systems. Rail systems all over the world are using unidirectional gateways to enable digitization safely. This is because unidirectional gateways are hardware-based. They're not just software. Unidirectional hardware provides absolute protection from remote attacks against vital networks, no matter how simple those attacks, no matter how sophisticated those attacks. Unlike firewalls, Waterfall's unidirectional security gateway products are a combination of hardware and software. The hardware is physically able to send information in only one direction from a high security or safety network to a less critical network. The unidirectionality of Waterfall's gateways is physically enforced in the gateway hardware. Unidirectional gateway software works with the hardware to make operations information available to enterprise users and applications transparently, simply, and in real time. Passenger safety and comfort has to be a priority. Safety is in the DNA of every Rails engineer. Today, we all understand the importance of security to safety. Since our digitization designs need to last as long as decades, we need to design our security and safety systems to stand the test of time. We need to deploy future-proof, hardware-based protection that will protect our vital networks for the lifetime of the system. Unidirectional gateways are future-proof. No attack information can get back through the unidirectional hardware into protected networks, not now and not in the future. Unidirectional security gateways from Waterfall Security Solutions are the safest, simplest, and most cost-effective way to provide the level of security needed by safety-critical and reliability-critical vital networks. To learn more about unidirectional gateways and cybersecurity in operations control centers, please download Dr. Molina's ebook by clicking the link in the description of this video.